But when you start working remotely, you become isolated. You know, uh, life is different. You know, for days I don't go out of my house. You know, I don't go out unless I have to go to the grocery store. Uh, and or, or if I just want to take a walk and I don't do that every day. So in terms of work, we had to retrain on technology. You know, we had to make sure everybody was connected technologically. We're not uh, beings that's made to live in a bubble or to be isolated from other. So my concern is always with those people who live alone, with those students who are here internationally, perhaps don't have family, uh, and not have not made uh, a lot of friends. But what I would say to them is to connect virtually. Uh, you have the tools now. You can you can uh, do you know Skype. You can do uh, uh, if you look at your phones. You can if they have uh, iPhones. You know you can see each other uh, and connecting in some way in that regard. I noticed that online there are things that uh, virtual exercise, yoga, and with COVID, we have, we're having to you know make these shifts in the way we do things, but still continue with life. So that I'm really excited about. And this is what I say to students: you know, you don't want to go stir crazy. You don't want to sit there and just become totally depressed. And I think as humans, we need to have that human interaction. So find ways to interact. And now those of the students who are in class, what I'm doing, because I teach an EDUC 1300 class, I'm putting them, pairing them in groups. So they will need to interact on almost a daily basis. So that's that human connection. So as um, instructors, you know, we need to put students together, have them to work on projects, and have them to write about their, um, their experience uh, in isolation. So, just talking about things and having someone to express our feelings to is very important.